Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm just going to show you how I do a 3D French. I was asked for this video. So what I've done is I've already went in and buffed the shine from this pop stick. And I'm just going in with some Shinty's base coat and then popping that in the lamp for 30 seconds. I'm then coming in with some Shinty's Gel Gel which is in the colour Bear. And I'm just using my double ended tool and some... Uh, isopropyl alcohol sorry just so that it doesn't stick to my brush so I'm just going to squeeze that out and then place it onto the nail and create the smile line So I never squeezed enough out so I am going to come in and do another layer on top of this just so that I've got it so that you can't see right through it um, and this goes in the lamp for 30 seconds. So I'll do this and then I'll come in with that second coat. So then I'm going to come in with my acrylic, uh, my gel polish colour, sorry, and I'm coming in with Shinty's Bright Lights and I was just showing you that I'm going to use a brush um, just to brush this on, but you can just use the brush that comes in your gel polish. Um, the fine liner brush is ideal if you're going quite high up into a client's like area near their cuticles and you don't want to touch that skin. So it's just to show you that you can do it both ways. So all I'm doing is coming in and just brushing that on. Um, so that it's thick enough so that you've got a good coverage and so that you're covering the area that you need covered. Now you don't need to cover the whole of this tip. Um, if you are coming in and doing it the opposite way, I would make sure that when you're coming onto the last colour, the, your lighter colour, that you've not got much of that on the tip because it'll show underneath the previous colour that you've used. So once I've applied it, I'll pop it in the lamp for 30 seconds just to give it a cure. So as you can see, this is me just coming in doing a second coat, but this time I'm using the brush, the applicator brush that comes obviously with your gel polish. So I'll do two coats with each of the colours that I use and pop it in the lamp in between for 30 seconds to give that a full cure. So for the next step you could come in with gel but what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with my clear acrylic 
and we're just going to go around that yellow creating another smile line so that it's just extended slightly from the previous smile line that we've done so just using that clear acrylic I'm just going to pick up a bead and create another smile line once that acrylic has had time to set I'm going to come in and just file it so that I've got a nice straight like sides and it's really tidy um, so I'm just coming in and filing that once this is all cured as I've said and then we'll move on to the next step. So basically for the next couple of steps you're just going to repeat the same thing but you're going to use different colours of gel polish. So again just coming in and painting and now you're wanting the walls of that acrylic that you're doing to be quite high so that the gel polish sits right up against that and then once you file it'll show you your perfect um, smile line. I hope that makes sense. And then again, you'll do the same thing again for your next line. And you'll just continue to do that depends on how many colours you use. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to allow you to watch. You will see at the end the finished result. I really hope you enjoy watching this video, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.